All right, we're gonna show you guys the difference between a cubic zirconia and a real diamond. This is not that hard to deal with because I found a cubic today and I knew right off from looking at it that it was a cubic. So why did I know? Well, I saw rainbows in it. So rainbows are really what you would want to see from a diamond. But to find a diamond that shows rainbows is going to cost you a lot of money. So here's a diamond. Just a regular... I think it's a somewhat included diamond. And you could tell that versus the cubic that this one has more clarity, more flash. And that's kind of a warning sign. Too much flash, usually going to end up being a cubic zirconia. Now, a cubic zirconia is a synthetic version of an actual species of rock. A zircon is an actual mineral, and uh, they're collectible, they're natural. This is likely to be a cubic zirconia, a synthetic version of uh, the zircon. They're not really to be confused because the zircon, I mean, not, not really expensive, but it's more of a collector's stone. And a cubic zirconia is more of a mass-produced stone for engagement ring. So I think this came from an engagement ring. There's a chip on the side right there you can see on the girdle. And I'm going to show you guys the difference between the two in black light. Even though I've tried this before and it really didn't change that much. Go ahead Lex, thank you. Notice the diamond fluoresces, the zircon does not.